are still looking for answers to uh, as to figure out why you may have an autoimmune condition or why you already have an autoimmune condition if you're still looking for answers then make sure that you stick around because that is exactly what i'll be diving into today um, my name is arindita i am a functional medicine certified health coach i am also a functional medicine practitioner and i help women with undiagnosed autoimmune conditions find relief from pain by tuning into their body's wisdom using a body guided approach so what i am uh, helping uh, women do is find their own answers their bodies tell them what's really wrong and this is where uh, you need to really uh, listen and pay attention because that's one area that most of us are missing out on so let without any further ado uh, let's get going if you have any questions make sure that you drop it in the comments below welcome ankita um, if you have any questions as we go along make sure that you drop it in the comments and i'll uh, answer that live so a diagnosis uh, is something that we typically wait for, right? We want to know exactly what's wrong with us. And there is nothing wrong with wanting to know what is going wrong, right? What is it that I have? Uh, you know, how can I get better? That's what all we want, right? Uh, to get better, to find relief from the constant pain uh, that has sort of consumed our life, to deal with the severe exhaustion that we, you know, even getting more and more sleep is not really helping uh, helping much, uh, you know, these are the two major symptoms that come with most uh, chronic illnesses, particularly autoimmune conditions. So uh, this is what we are trying to find relief from the, uh, the, uh, the pain and the exhaustion. And we are trying to find a way back to leading a normal life. Uh, if you agree with any of this, uh, give me a thumbs up uh, so that I know that, you know, I'm also on the right track. So a uh, diagnosis uh, is a tool that helps us to get some answers. And the reason, and this is what I need you to you know, uh, understand about what a diagnosis is and what a diagnosis is not. Now, a diagnosis in the case of any chronic illness, and we are talking about autoimmune conditions in particular, is just a tool to help you understand what are the right treatments options for you. So what are the medications you should be taking what are the treatments that you should be on so that you prevent further damage, right? We know that in autoimmune conditions, there is uh, ongoing damage to our tissues, uh, which is why, which leads to, it starts with cellular damage, it goes on to uh, tissue damage. If it continues unabated, uh, then it goes on to organ damage, then organ dysfunction. And this is at the end where we actually get a diagnosis, right? This is what I want you to understand very clearly. The whole uh, this whole process uh, is the autoimmune disease progression and it all starts right at the very beginning when there may or may not be any symptoms. This is a really important for you to understand. At the beginning of any chronic illness, including autoimmune conditions, there may or may not be any symptoms, right? Uh, and even if there are symptoms, there will be uh, in the form of minor irritations, like, you know, very, very uh, simple things like uh, maybe a headache, maybe a just a bit of rash, maybe some indigestion, you know, those kind of things. So um, not much really going on, but more of just minor uh, things that we typically either medicate or we tend to ignore, right? And then it continues, this whole progression continues. So the way I want you to now start looking at your diagnosis uh, and when you're looking at it, you know, when you're asking for a diagnosis is to understand it's not going to give you all the answers that you're looking for. I know you're looking for answers. I know you want to understand what's really going on. Why is your immune system behaving this way uh, and, uh, you know, how you can get better, right? That's the most important thing. But the first thing to understand here is that your diagnosis is not going to give you all these answers. It will. It is a tool which will help you to stop further tissue damage, organ damage, etc. So it's important. And when I work with women with autoimmune conditions, even those who are specifically undiagnosed right now, who you know they know that they have a condition, they don't know which one, and that's a big challenge actually for most people. Um, you know that's that's a key area that I focus on. So uh, and the reason is again that the diagnosis gives us a treatment option, gives us the medications, but it does nothing to actually address the underlying 
uh, imbalances, the underlying nutrient deficiencies, which is why even after getting a diagnosis, uh, you know, the symptoms become uh, improved, certainly because the intensity reduces, the number of symptoms reduce, so at least you get your quality of life back to a large extent. But you will find that most people do not really get better. Right, because once they go off the medications, once they have to stop the treatment, maybe the they have to keep increasing the dose more and more because the medications have stopped working or the treatment is stopped working. You know, so it's like a lifelong process that they get stuck in. It's like a vicious cycle that most people uh, can't really get out of. Um, if you if you can relate to this, uh, just drop in an emoji so I know that uh, you know you're uh, you're sort of. You're able to pick up what I'm talking about because this is not something that gets discussed everywhere, right? We talk about autoimmune diseases in the form of just, you know, uh, let's just, uh, you know, keep doing one test after another. Let's just find out what's really happening. Let's keep waiting. And many people actually wait years. I know people who have waited 20, 30 years to actually get a diagnosis because getting a diagnosis is really hard. Uh, given the complexity of this disease, given the multifactorial nature of your immune system, uh, you know, there are different baskets of symptoms and the symptoms keep shifting. Uh, the tests are not 100% uh, accurate in terms of, you know, whenever immune system is involved, tests are not going to be uh, sort of 100% you know, give you all the answers that you need and the tests keep changing. Uh, you might have false positives. So there's so many, so many variables when it comes to a diagnosis, right? So which is why it is really important for you to understand what's going on, what is going on at the root, uh, which is something that you can actually, you need to look at, right? You may not be looking at that right now. You may not have been even told about this uh, before. Maybe it's the first time you are hearing about this, but it is important for you to understand what are the uh, you know, underlying imbalances. Why is your immune system behaving in this manner? There's a reason for it. What are the nutrient deficiencies? Because typically we know for sure that gut health goes hand in hand with all autoimmune conditions. And wherever your gut is involved, wherever your gut health is involved, you can be 100% sure that there is some amount of malabsorption, maldigestion, poor absorption. You know, you might be having the healthiest diet in the world, but the problem will be that if you don't really take it in, if you're not able to get all the nutrients in uh, the way you need to, uh, you know, it's not going to really help you. And which is, which is why... Uh, you might still be dealing with nutrient deficiencies, even though you're having everything that is healthy, right? So that's the other thing that many people miss out on. These are the small nuances that I want to sort of bring to awareness because they're so important for understanding, uh, for, for you to understand what's really going on. Why aren't you getting any better? You're trying everything, you're getting tests done, you're going from specialist to specialist, you're trying to get all the answers, but neither are you getting the answers nor uh, are you getting better. Uh, and one uh, important thing at this point that I want to uh, you know, talk about is the autoimmune spectrum. I touched upon this. This is the spectrum where you have vibrant health at one end and degenerative disease on the other end. So as I briefly mentioned, at one end uh, where you are moving towards disease progression, you start with minor symptoms. And at this, at this point, there may be a bit of cellular damage at the cellular level but not not you know any major damage which is why you may not have any symptoms may and then as the disease progresses as uh, you know uh, we are not doing anything to address why the disease is progressing which is the gut health which might be stress which might be toxic exposure again these are various contributing factors uh, then then we have a damage at the tissue level right and here you start you may start seeing some symptoms again every person is unique so every person's body reacts uniquely differently and again you may or may not see any symptoms or at the most you might have some minor irritations uh, as i mentioned earlier so you might have some skin uh, issues you might have some bloating you might have rosacea maldigestion constipation once in a while you know not nothing much really some bit of headache uh, which come and go so they're not really bothering you so much and this is the point where we need to start taking action rather than waiting for the disease to continue to progress unfortunately this is not what is 
actually portrayed or conveyed uh, to people who are already on the autism spectrum. One way you will know you're on the autism spectrum if you have had symptoms and you've got anti-nuclear antibody tests done and you've shown positive for ANA and you will know that you are you know you will be you know you can confirm that you're on the autoimmune spectrum you may not know which disease you have which is which is a problem for most people because they think that they need to know which autoimmune condition they have before they can start laying the foundations for good health and i'm here to tell you that's something that that's a myth that we have to dispel with right now it's making us sicker and sicker as we keep waiting for months, years, and decades to get a diagnosis. It's not helping us. It's actually uh, harming us in so many different ways. So yeah, so continuing with tissue damage, then you move to organ damage because now the entire organ is getting affected. And then, of course, leading to organ dysfunction. By the time we hit this part, we are very much, you know, we uh, very much have an entrenched disease with a huge basket of symptoms and this entire process from cellular to organ damage and dysfunction can take multiple number of years right which is why the diagnosis also takes so much of time but the unfortunate part was the you know or the good news is that if we can take preventive action in this it gives us a huge window of opportunity to start working on moving or reversing this disease progression, right? So that's what I want you to focus on. How you, you uh, I mean, it's reversing your disease progression before it becomes entrenched. So finally, we end up with a disease diagnosis and it's only at the end when there is already enough damage which has happened. Again, we can reverse some of the damage or, you know, undo some of the damage, but very hard to do it if it's been going on for a very very long time however having said that uh, you know there are so many instances in my own uh, practice in uh, in all, uh, across the world where people have reversed many of the autoimmune conditions uh, what i mean by that is they are not cured of it in the traditional sense of the word you cannot really cure any chronic illness whether it's diabetes, cancer, autoimmune conditions, eczema, etc. But you can certainly reverse uh, some, if not all the symptoms, depending on where you are, depending on how much damage has already been done. Uh, you can lead, uh, you know, uh, a very, very healthy life, a good quality life. Um, you know, you may not uh, go back to exactly the normal that you were before, your life was before, but you can actually create a new normal that works for you. You can spend time with your children. You can spend time with your family because as your, you know, your energy levels go up, uh, so your uh, pain levels go down, right? This is all certainly possible. Uh, I had a client who was finding it hard. She had multiple uh, health issues, including uh, autoimmune issues as well of the thyroid uh, and a couple of others. But uh, and she was in severe pain. She was unable to go to work a lot of the time. And uh, it took us some time. And this had been going on for a long time. It had been going on for about six, seven years. She was on constant rounds of antibiotic and oral steroids to just manage her pain because nobody was able to figure out what was going on. Or nobody was trying to figure out what was really going on and driving it. It was they were just trying to medicate the symptoms. And when we figured out, you know, we knew there was something to do with her gut, right? Uh, and it was a very, very slow process. But uh, the beauty is that when you actually start paying attention to what is going on, right? Go, you start going inside rather than only looking at external signals. You don't only look at, I'm not saying it's an either or, we need a diagnosis to also get the right medications and treatments, but it's equally important to go within and see what's really going on, right? What's Why is your body behaving in this manner? Why is your immune system behaving in this manner? And as we, and this is, you know, done by tuning into your body, by uh, it, you know, thinking of your body as your friend rather than your adversary, right? Stop being at war with your body. Stop being at war with your immune system. They are You are one and the same. And when she, this client did that, you know, it took a long time. It took five months. And we figured out which foods were causing a problem. And it's a slow process for some people. It depends. Uh, but yeah, but it takes time. Something which has been going on for six, seven years is not going to be undone in like two weeks, right? And when we did that, we uncovered that there were certain foods uh, 
and there was one food that was causing it and we, when we took her took it out of her system actually she started you know her pain went away right after 6 7 years so what i want you to if there's any only one thing that you take away from uh, today's session is that do not chase the diagnosis only the diagnosis is just one tool which will help you to uh, you know get the treatment that you may need to stop further tissue damage to make your life uh, a bit more bearable because uh, it helps certainly helps with the uh, with the symptoms in the short term and it is necessary uh, and even life saving at times uh, because we don't want uh, you know if the damage has been going on for a very long time we don't want the damage to be so uh, you know irreparable right that we can't even ever go back so we don't want that to happen at the same time we don't also want to keep waiting and chasing it and hoping that it will give us all the answers because it won't right so if you take away one thing from today's session understand this that it's important to actually go within it's important to understand what is driving your disease progression if this is even uh, more true if you're already on the autoimmune spectrum if you have say high uh, positive na ana anti nuclear antibodies or you already have a diagnosis so you know you're on the autoimmune spectrum so this is even more important for you to understand what is driving it is it your diet it is your is it your lifestyle is it the stress is it the toxins actually these are the three main buckets food toxins and stress and then what do you need to do about it right it's a step by step approach and often the reason that we don't see any improvements even when we have tried working on some of these areas i know enough people obviously who have done their research they have been trying out different diets they have gone off gluten they may have gone off dairy they may have gone off multiple foods because it doesn't suit them because they have heard that it, it is helpful for many people they have made lifestyle changes you know so you know we try and do right and we have the information on google we we sort of get that information maybe from somebody else but there is an order to this right doing uh, things haphazardly may not give you the results for example when uh, the one misconception that people i find that people have is just is that by going off gluten i'm going to get better right my symptoms so yes some symptoms do go away by going off gluten but gluten is just the first step in the gut gut healing process there are actually five steps so all the five steps have to be followed in a certain order uh, almost uh, of course there is some amount of flexibility but that entire process has to be followed for addressing all the imbalances and all the triggers etc right so there is a whole process to it there is a step by step approach i know it sometimes becomes really overwhelming because you know there are so many diets which one do you follow what will work for me what if i don't get better but rather than focusing uh, you know getting into that which is very hard to get out from it's very overwhelming and confusing uh, it's you know the the more effective approach is to go within and you know let your body guide you right and there are very many ways i do that with my clients through guided meditations through journaling so apart from the uh, you know addressing root imbalances the diet the lifestyle the toxins the stress all of it is fine understanding which disease you have uh, what supplements could possibly help maybe a bit of testing there is a whole different element which i find all uh, typically gets missed out which is using your body as your guide your body you know and uh, no matter how many tests you do your body will ultimately be the guide that will be able to give you the answers that you're looking for today right uh, using your body as your guide tuning into your body's wisdom is going to give you answers that you are not getting from anywhere else right it will give you answers to questions like why am i having these symptoms which symptoms do i need to prioritize and focus on first which areas of my life i need to address first which are the foods which are good for me which are the foods which are bad for me and believe me just getting test after test done whether it's a food intolerance test whether it's any other test is not the only answer of course tests give us a lot of data which is why even i do testing in my practice um whether it's basic lab work whether it's food intolerance tests whether it's functional medicine testing but tests are only one piece of the puzzle i want you to understand that it is only one piece of the puzzle diagnosis is only one piece of the puzzle there are many other pieces that you need to focus on 
uh, whether it's your lifestyle, whether it's your diet, your mindset, your approach, uh, your symptoms, all of these matter. And that's what you need to. So it's very important to have a full picture. Um, yeah. And uh, so just getting a diagnosis is not the end. It's sort of just the beginning. And sometimes it doesn't even happen for a long time. So, um, so that's what I wanted to talk about. So uh, when you stop chasing the diagnosis, when you actually start tuning into your body's wisdom, you try and figure out what's really going on. Uh, you can minimize overwhelm, you can lessen confusion, and you actually start finding the answers that you have been looking for. Which is why when I you know, look at, uh, you know, I'm a part of several groups, I help out uh, in you know some of the autoimmune groups, etc. And the one thing that I find people looking for are answers. Right? And the answers are precisely what they are not getting. The answers, the, the real answers. Uh, the answer is not will not come in in the form of the name of the disease. That does not tell you why you have it. That's not a true answer. They are looking for answers, but they're just looking for it in the wrong place. If you are doing that, maybe it's time for you to think differently, to uh, do things differently, uh, so that you actually use this body guided approach i call it the body guided approach in my practice because it's you know it this is what it is you're using your body as your guide and you you know it will not it's not going to give you uh, it's going to tell you exactly what you need to uh, what you need to support your body's healing process right that's why it's so effective it's highly effective it's going to be always much more effective than any other approach that you will take. But again, understand I'm not talking about an either or situation. I'm talking about why you might be looking for a diagnosis and you need a diagnosis, you need medications and you need treatments. At the same time, it is critical that you also try and get these uh, answers. So uh, if you would like to know how you can work with me uh, or how I can help you, make sure that you send me a DM and type in the words help just send me a dm with the word help and i will you know sort of uh, get in touch with you and let you know how i can help um, how uh, you know we can explore if we can work together uh, if you uh, drop me a comment uh, just let me know what has been the key takeaway for you from this session